students, welcome back. Today, we'll be discussing another concept related to core life skills. It's about goal setting for the future. Before we start, let's talk about the difference between dreams and goals. Dreams are visions of what we want without actually going through them or trying to accomplish them. Goals, on the other hand, are our road map to make dreams come true. They take us from one point to the next. In order for something to be a goal, it has to be important to you, has to be within your power and actions to make it happen, must have reasonable chance of achieving, must be clear to you and have specific plan of action. But we keep asking ourselves, why setting goals in the first place? First, goals create a roadmap for success. Goals are the targets towards which you will point your life. Goals give you a starting point and a destination to reach. Writing goals help you see where you are going, what changes you need to make, and if you're progressing towards your goal correctly. On top of that, the more you focus on your goal, the more you grow and accomplish. Having a specific goal does not take you around in circles. It puts you on a direct track for action. Also, goal achievement requires committed, concentrated, and consistent work ethic to make your dreams a reality. Goals have value only if they help you to develop and improve yourself. When you measure your goals progress, you stay on track, you see your target dates and experience the excitement of achievement. Also, the secret to achieve any goals is to get started. Finally, goals help you determine priorities and direct you to focus on what is important in your life. After we discuss the importance of setting a goal, now we ask ourselves, how do we set a goal? Number one, identify the goal. Set objectives, list the obstacles that may arise on while you're progressing. Develop a plan to accomplish the goal. List the skills. What skills do you have to help you accomplish the goal? Identify the people that might help you out to accomplish the goal. List the benefits. After you finish the goal, what will happen? And finally, set SMART goals. Speaking of which, SMART goals. You need to set yourself what is called as a SMART goal. For a goal to be SMART, it needs to have the following tools. Number one, it needs to be specific. Two, measurable. Three, achievable. Four, realistic. Number five, time bound. Once we start discussing the SMART goals, I'll give you some examples. So relax. SMART, the S means specific. What, why, how. What are you going to do? Why is it important to you at this time? What do you want to accomplish? How are you going to do it? How, in using what means? Number two, measurable. How much? How many? If you can't measure it, you can't manage it. You have to be able to see the changes while you're improving, while you're achieving your goal. Ask yourself, how much do I have to do? How many times do I have to do it? The next one is attainable. Attainable means within your reach. Setting yourself up for success 
a goal needs to make you slightly uncomfortable so that you know it needs real commitment from your side. Facing and overcoming challenges will motivate you to move on to bigger challenges and more satisfying accomplishments. The next one is realistic. The goal has to be realistic. It means doable. You can do it. It's something you can actually do. Something is doable. Something you can achieve if you work hard on it. And the last one is timely. Set a timeline. It must have a deadline. When do you want to finish your goal? What steps and time frames do I need to have to achieve this goal? Making smart goals. As we said earlier, smart goals means specific, measurable, attainable, realistic or relevant, and timely bound. Specific means make sure your goal is very clear, precise, and concrete. An example of specific goal is, I will earn my bachelor's degree in business management in four years by getting good grades so I can own my own business. Measurable means your goal should have some way of showing you're making progress. An example of measurable is, completing my classes with good grades will show my progress. Attainable means you can develop a path that will lead you to your goal. An example of attainable is, I will do all my classwork, get started early on assignments, and get good grades. Realistic, you have control over your goal and it will push you to advance. An example of realistic is, earning bachelor's degree won't be easy but it will be up to me and make me better. The last one is time bound. It means you need to have a specific end date for your goal. An example of time bound is, I will earn my bachelor's degree in business management in four years. Bad goals, I will win the lottery. I will go to school. I will lose weight. I will be a rock star next year. Smart goals. I will have money for my family vacation in 12 months. By putting $50 in a saving account each week, I will eat more fruits and vegetables and exercise five days a week. So I'm ready for our hiking trip next month. I will take guitar lessons each week, participate every day and play with friends so that we can start a band in six months. Remember, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely, make your goals work for you. Be smart. Okay, students, we talked about smart goals. Why is it important to set yourself a smart goal? Now, let's talk about the different types of goals. We have two different types, two types only. The first one is a short-term goal. And the second one is a long-term goal. For example, get tutoring in math this quarter. This is a short-term goal. Attend peer tutoring to help them in homework. That's a short-term goal. Spend a minimum of one hour every night to do your homework. On the other hand, Long terms means what? Exploring careers that you're interested in in the future, graduating from college or going to college, finding a job. Okay, students, we talked about the two different types of goals, the short-term goal, the long-term goal. We talked about them in general, but let's talk about them in a bit more detail. Do you have a dream of starting a business or saving for early retirement? These are examples of long-term goals. They give you a sense of direction and purpose. However, 
Long-term goals need to be broken down into short-term goals. Each short-term goal acts as a stepping stone towards achieving your long-term goals. They are easier to accomplish than long-term goals. Both short-term goals and long-term goals motivate us to be more focused and productive. But it's important to know the difference between the two of them and how they relate to each other. What is a long-term goal? It's something that you want to do further in the future. Long-term goals require time and planning. It's not something that you can do this week or this year. Long-term goals take more than 12 months to achieve and include the completion of short-term goals. Here are some examples of long-term goals. Graduate from college, save for retirement and start your own business. But what is a short-term goal? A short-term goal is something you want to do in the near future. Near future means today, this week, this month, or this year. A short-term goal is something you want to accomplish soon. Some examples of short-term goals are taking your class, buying a new TV, or writing your resume. Okay, this is almost the end of our video. Let me tell you some helpful ideas that help you out setting your goal. First, write your goals on paper so that you can see them all the time. It encourages you that I want to accomplish this goal. It's there all the time. Tell your goals to the others. Tell them to your family, tell them to your friends, tell them to everyone. Be proud of your goal. They may be able to help you out or keep you on track, encourage you to accomplish it. Have a positive attitude. Be optimistic all the time. You can do it. You can accomplish the goal and celebrate your success after accomplishing the goal. If you don't reach a goal, don't think it's the end of the world. It's not a failure. You can do it again. Try. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Identify the areas that need improvement. Seek help from your friends, from your family, from your teacher, from someone more experienced than you to accomplish your goal. This is your dream goal. And finally, use your imagination. Okay, students, we finished the material. Now, let's talk about the assignment. With the assignment, you will be asked to write your own goals and specify why are these goals smart. Use your imagination if you remember. Good luck.